Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're on our SU-25T and we're looking at TV guided weapons. So we've got TV guided bombs and missiles that we can use. First thing to note, to arm up with these we need to have our canopy open and our engines off and spooled down. So we're going to show two weapons today. We're going to show uh, the TV guided bomb which can be used on pylons 5 and 7. Bomb, there it is, the KAB 500 Kilo KR TV guided bomb and we can have i'll put one on the other side here missiles it is the kh 29t tv guided missile uh, these two we can only have them on pylons five and seven which is why i'm uh, going one bomb on one side and one tv missile on the other side so these are the tv guided weapons let's arm that up okay that's them armed up as you can see they're absolutely massive weapons uh, hence why they can only go on the inboard pylons which has a better load bearing capacity right next we need to have a look at the keys that we're going to be using and there are a lot of them so let's get started fire weapon to fire the missile or drop the bomb target lock to lock onto the ground target designator up down left and right to control the TDC EO system on off to turn the schval on and off Display Schwal zoom in, zoom out. Target size the Schwal increase, decrease. And that's all that I'm going to be using. So just a rough talk through of how we're going to do this. We're going to use a system called the Schwal, which is TV operated well, and laser operated. It's housed in the nose of the plane you can see there. It's essentially a glorified camera sensor in the nose there that can swivel on its axis and we'd use that to find and locate a target and once we lock onto a target with that we can then go in for a bomb run or our missile run and use our weapons so let's ball up and get in the air okay off we go okay we're in the air now and we have identified some targets they're off our nose by about 10 kilometers and you probably won't, might not be able to see them in the movie but they are where I'm moving my cursor now so we've got to get a set up and one thing I forgot to show you was um, 7 is air to ground mode which we'll need to do so press 7 for air to ground mode select the weapon with the weapon change button uh, so we've and you can see which weapon we've got selected because it says there I've now selected the 29T which is the TV guided missile and it's this pylon here that's selected we've also got pylon ordnance selection here and information tells you here but that's in Russian so I'm not going to dwell on that next we need to turn our camera on our shkval on so unpause I'm going to turn that on and we've got it here uh, so this is our display it's currently uh, bore sighted to the aircraft and so it essentially follows wherever this target is here so what I want to do is maneuver the aircraft so this target goes roughly on top of the target is there then I'm going to press target lock which locks the scroll to the ground in that position so let's get that done so ba -ba -da -ba -da. lock and stop Right, so the scroll is now locked onto this area of ground here, um, and we best go over the symbology. So the camera can slew left, right, up, and down. Here is the lateral slew, and that is where we are slewed at the moment. So if we move too far off to the slew, we'll lose our lock. Same with the elevation. It can go up a bit and down a lot. If the slew marker here goes up too high or too low, we'll lose the lock. Here is our current pitch, minus 5 degrees. Here is our current wings roll, or the slant. So if we rolled, then rolled the aircraft, this would uh, change here. Uh, here is our current time. If we fired our missile now, then it would take that many seconds to get to the target. Here is our um, lock indicator currently saying that we are not locked and that we are still under cursor control at the moment. Here is our radar altitude or our altitude. Um, it may be barometric at the moment, but it will be radar when we get lower. Here is our targeting box here. Here is our targeting box size in meters. So the idea is we're going to use the TDC slew keys to slew this over, slew this box over to the what we perceive as the targets, and it will try and lock them up. But it is looking for targets the size that you set. So it's currently set to 10 meters. It will be looking for um, units that size, and I can change that with the target size up and down, which I'll do now. So I'll unpause and up and down and up and down. You can see I'm changing that meters, which also changed the size of that box there. Uh, so I'm going to set it to 10 meters because that's a good default to um, for these vehicles here. Right, I'll just make sure I don't slew too far of course here. So, so we're going to go down to 10. We're going to slew this over the targets. See if we can lock one up. Make sure we don't drift off too far. 
Nothing locked yet. Let's try here. It can be a little bit awkward, uh, this phase. Still not locked. A little bit. All I'm doing is moving it over the target and it will it will um, lock up when it when it can basically. Let's try reducing the target size a little bit. Maybe I got the target size slightly wrong. Come on, lock, baby. Still not locked. Got it. Right, that took a while, and to be honest, that is kind of normal. It, it depending on the size of the target, whatnot, it can be a bit fiddly. Uh, we know we locked because we've got AC showing here. Otherwise, um, it's we are in weapon range. We know because we've got launch authority here, and here is our distance in kilometres from us to the target. We do we do have a lane laser ranger on this aircraft, but we are not going to use it for this weapon. Next up to the HUD. Um, so here is where the target is. Here is the weapon that we've got selected, and we've got the two above it for pylon two. Also saying, telling us it's ready to fire. Launch authority we've got here, we can fire. Our ranging bar is here. I forgot to say earlier maybe, but uh, we know we've got the Shoal on because it says TV here. We've got 10, this is our ranging bar, 10 kilometers there. Our max there, our min there. So we have to fire under our max and above our min. And we're currently right in the middle, hence we've got a launch authority. So we're all good to do. All we're going to put is our aircraft roughly in the firing line of that target and then pull the trigger and we're good to go. And that is a rifle. So, just going to trim ourselves out now and then go and watch that missile. Kaboomy! And that's a whopping great missile with a whopping warhead, so you can kill. It's not really designed for tanks, it's designed for massive buildings, which you can lock up, ships, stuff like that, really. But we're just using it on a tank today. If you want to take smaller vehicles like this down, Vickers, things like that are better. But anyway, let's carry on. Uh, so that's that. The only thing I've got to add about that is as soon as you've fired one, it's to fire and forget missile, so you can turn away and it will carry on, or you can start targeting for the next missile, okay? Next, we're going to use our TV-guided bomb. Uh, the K uh, What is it? KAB 500KR is automatically selected it. The technique we're going to use is similar, but not quite the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and get some range so that we can come on um on another attack run. One thing I, oh, uh, one thing yeah, I probably can show you now is that if we take the... Uh, the Schwal out of limits here that it will lose the lock so let's go over it and you can see that the slew here is going to go off the bottom or this one over the side and um, we'll lose the camera lock boomy and then you have to basically it's slewed back up to here and you have to start again right I'll be back I'll head out to sea and then I'll report back in okay so we're a few clicks out we're going to turn in we've got our KAB so the only thing I want to say is altitude as far as i'm aware you can drop this bomb anywhere above 300 meters agl uh in fact regarding that missile i've got to talk about specifications but i don't think there are any as long as you with the missile as long as you fire within the range as specified earlier i don't think any altitude actually matters within reason uh right so let's carry on this is going to be a ccrp style drop so if you followed the ccrp bombing tutorial i did then this will be familiar there's the target there so we're going to put our Maneuver our camera onto it. Ground lock. Pause. Just let me get my bearings for a second. So the target's over there. So the next thing I want to do is lock up a target exactly the same way. So let's try and do that. Quite a cool thing to do is if you kind of get the screen like that kind of size, then you can watch the target and the scroll at the same time, which is pretty neat. Neato. Right. Got to go through this selection process again, which is a pain in the butt, to be honest. Let's see if we can reduce size a bit. Is that going to help? Come on, baby. Lock, lock, lock. We can... Oh, one thing I forgot to say. We can zoom the Schwal in and out. Uh, that can help. Oh, we've got a lock there. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things I should have done earlier. I'm a bit of an idiot, so I forgot to say we can zoom the Schwal in and out with the keys shown earlier, and it's going to help you attain lock and everything, so make sure you do that. Uh, yeah, that's good. Right, so we're locked onto a target. He's seven kilometres away, um, and we're good to go. So what I want to do now is I'm going to hold down the fire key, the, fire, the trigger key, and it's going to give me some CCRP symbology I've got to follow. So I'm pause, holding it down now. And you can see it's selected to CCRP target there, and I've got a steering dot there. 
Uh, so what I need to do is steer my aircraft, that, basically this vertical line here, so it's, it, it um, sits perfectly on that dot there. If I can do that and keep roughly level, the release, everything will be done by it, uh, the computer. So let's get that done. Seems to be taking me slightly off the side, but trust in the machine. The machine always knows. Get some altitude. Generally, with laser guided bombs, the higher we are, the uh, better we are, but we don't want to climb super. Okay, bomb is off. Let's just trim and go and watch that. Kaboomy! Shack, and that's it. So those are the two TV guided weapons. It's really simple. Um, you don't need to use the laser. Uh, they cannot work at night. There is a pod um, that allows this to basically the schwal essentially to see at night uh, called the Mercury pod, which you use separately to the schwal, but essentially you use it almost the same. However, as far as I'm aware, the TV guided weapons don't work. It's only for the laser guided weapons. Right, that's all I can think to say. I hope that helps. And see you later.